The Prada Renylon project is crossing five continents to connect with upcycling initiatives that are turning harmful waste into pristine new products. Actor Alex Fitzalan and National Geographic explorer Asher DeVos are in New Zealand to uncover a hidden threat to the oceans. We've explored less than 20% of our world's oceans, yet we've impacted about 90% of that space. Yeah, it's easy to look at the ocean and just see this wilderness. But really, it's this complex ecosystem, and over the past few decades, we're only just realizing the damage that we're actually doing. I work with whales and dolphins. We see evidence of entanglement scars on our animals all the time. They are being killed by all these ghost gear in our oceans. Some of these ghost nets can be four or five kilometers long. So you're entrapping dolphins and whales and turtles and all these wonderful creatures. We're all volunteers, so this is stuff we do in our free time. I'm so lucky to have such a great team of people who are happy to put their hands up and say, hey, we're gonna come and help you guys out. And it, it takes a lot of planning and, and organization covering these ghost nets. We usually rely quite heavily on sort of local intel. We'll mark it with GPS. Uh, we can then go back and dive it again. Once you're in the water, there are still a lot of dangers involved. How do you go about preparing for something like that? There's a lot of training. It's uh, very low visibility. You'd be down to like a metre, 11 degree water, so you've got to have proper thermal protection. With the nets themselves, we use lift bags. It'll bring the net to the surface. end up with the nets really full with a lot of dead creatures. It's pretty horrific when you come across them initially. The Healthy Seas Initiative has removed about 500 tonnes of ghost fishing gear. Divers all around the world are retrieving those nets and sending them over to Europe where they're recycled into other products. Yes, yeah, so the net we've recovered today, um, it's a 40 metres plus net. It's good to get that out of the water and getting out there and doing it sense of achievement, working with the community, working with a team of friends and divers. We do it because we love the ocean. We want to make a difference. 10% of all plastic waste in the oceans is ghost gear. It's inspiring to think that there are teams of volunteers all across the world that go out to retrieve these nets. Yeah, and that the nets can be transformed into brand new products that carry this positive marine conservation message.